I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to create a, sli a slideshow. So here I imported all the imported all the videos here. And as you can see, I have a couple of pictures. And now what I have to do is to actually select all the videos and hold alt and grab and drag up. And this will create a, a copy of all the selections, which is pretty nice. Now I'm just going to select the first picture and I'm going to just, uh, not the first one, actually this, the, the, this picture under the first one and now I'll increase the scale. I can change the position very nice and easy. And also actually paused. So everything it's high quality here. And now you would like to actually have this. So if you can't find effect control, go to window and click on effect control and also effects. We're also going to need effects. And uh, now I'm going to go to effects. So here, not here, but I know uh, make sure actually is actually located here, but I'm going to actually reset the layout. So everything looks Make sure you are in workspace effects or editing also. And now it's actually different as you can see the layout here. But now we have here effects and here search for blur. We'll actually, we need some blur. Now there's a lot of different blur available, directional blur. So So I'm going to use directional blur and then drag this to this video. Actually not that one, the video underneath. Increase. Uh, for me, it's good like this. And now what can I do is actually to, um, here I have the motion opacity opacity no but directional blur and motion now i'm gonna go here and just paste all the effects here so now i can so you see the properties or the motion with this uh, scale we actually copy the scale to the other video as well to the second picture so you just have to hold control and select which one. If you want to add a frame, you can go to the pen tool and make sure you don't have anything selected. Go to pen tool and let's create here frame. And uh, now I'll move this here, select the graphic. I mean, you just have to expand here. We only need stroke. We don't need fill. Increase the stroke and uh, and the scale also we, we could actually just uh, and that's uh, one way to actually use the pen tool if your images aren't um, the same, don't have the same resolution. But I encourage you to actually crop all the images so you have the same resolution. You can use and go to effects, click, click on crop and add this effect to your video. Now you can crop your image and make sure you have the same resolution. Because instead of using the pen tool, other ways to other method to add this border is to actually add uh, or use the radial sh uh, shadow. So grab this, drag it on top of your, your video. And now here, click on resize layer and increase opacity to 100%. I'm going to change to white and use uh, now just move this exactly where I want project uh, distance.
like this. And now like this. Can also change here some options, resize layer, and that's about it. But now what's really cool, because we can actually go here. Here we actually have scale. And I'm gonna add actually a keyframe right over here. Now just move a couple of keyframes and now just increase the scale uh, like this. And now we can actually copy this motion, control, hold control for this, for shadow, for shadow. Yeah, it's good for shadow as well because we can add some, some shadow, but um, it's kind of like not the best thing as you can see. So the shadow, we can add the shadow after. We can add uh, drop shadow. So now, because uh, the shadow was actually located here, and now if it's there, it's not the case. You have to move the shadow here. And now increase the distance. Actually, the distance you don't really have to. Just add some softness now, and we have the drop shadow. Now just hold control, control um, select the drop shadow, select the radio shadow, the drop shadow, and the motion. And now control C and select your videos. Make sure you have the selection tool and control V. And now you have uh, this, um, you have the animation, uh, the motion added to the video, to your image, sorry, and also the Glossian blur and also uh, not the Glossian blur, sorry, the radiant shadow and the drop shadow. So this can save you a lot of time and it's really, really helpful to use this. And you can actually now uh, maybe just uh, resize it so it's quicker. Like this. Now we have this very simple slide show. And if the playback is not smooth, as you can see this, uh, this red here, which means that it's still loading, it's still working. Uh, and uh, now if I go here and I add an in, e I and O, um, like this. Now I'll go to sequence and I'm just gonna click on we have here render effects in to out. And now uh, this can help a lot. So you don't have any any lag. So now everything gets smooth and uh, that's what we want. So yeah, I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. Make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. And if you have any questions or suggestions for the next tutorial, let me know in the comments section. I'll create a tutorial, a video for you. Thank you for watching and take care.